Hello. So today's topic will be um, playing an organ on main stage. So you know this is a very special sound we often need on stage. It's a quite easy sound, but um, most of the keyboards I had didn't realize a good organ sound. So in German we call this Schweineorgel. This is very hard to program a good organ. So today we're gonna do this in main stage and I'm gonna show you how I like it the best. Um, I still got my CX3 organ, um, but it's a CX3, it's no B3, so it sounds different. And uh, on stage, I like uh, most of the times, I like to have a B3, but it's too heavy to carry, and uh, I don't have one at all. All right, so first, we create a new patch for our organ song, and we name it Organ. We uh, add another channel strip. The key station is already included. I will show you next um, which what is connected to main stage at all. So right now, after all those tutorials, um, we got we still got this little sound card from M Audio, the M Track Hub, um, connected. Um, no um, inputs, only outputs. That's good enough for a gig. Uh, we got this key station, M Audio key station 88 ES connected as uh, the keyboard. Uh, we connected uh, this MIDI controller from Korg Nano Control 2 to have um, control over everything we need um, to control, like the volume or the chorus or whatever we have. And I connected um, a foot pedal to the key station to control the speed of the rotary speaker. So we got this new channel strip and now let's get the vintage organ uh, from uh, Apple's main stage. I even like uh, Native's vintage organs. Um, they sound a little different but they are very nice as well. So I go back to the B3 and choose another factory presets. So let's take this hard rock on. For this demonstration uh, we try to build up a, um, a classic rock organ. Um, so I prefer a different Rotary speaker. So I uh, go to this rider Rotary and um, I shut this one off. And then I go to the insert effects of that channel strip with the, with the organ. And I go to audio units. And I really like that one, the rotary. That's a very good, I think the best simulation of rotary cabinets. I prepared I prepared a preset. You can see all the settings in that preset, so the model and the distance of the microphones um, and you can you can really do a lot in there. You can copy that if you like. Let's see what it looks like. Better. So that's typical 70s rock organ with a big drive in it, uh, like a guitar. So there's just one thing left uh, for the controllers. I, I want to control the speed of the rotary speakers. You know how uh, if they if they're rotating fast or slow. So I go back to the layout and click that foot pedal in the middle, click assign for that one. And now you see um, it stretches it as a USB key station foot pedal. I go back to edit. I click that one again in the middle, go to instrument seven. Just on the bottom of that one, you find the rotary effect. I'm going down again. The 
speed mode. So I click the speed mode. Now I can control. I mean, let's see what it does. So if I push the pedal, the speed goes from slow to high. So that's a slow mode. And that's the high rotation. So that's quite a good hard rock, classic rock organ. Now, for a typical organ, and this is part two of the tutorial, we like to uh, control the draw bars of an organ while playing. That's very essential if you play organ. It's not always the same sound, uh, and depending on which part of the song you are, you would like to change the draw bars and the sound of the organ while playing. So this uh, controller is quite good. Uh, it got eight faders uh, we can use as draw bars. So what to do in main stage? First, uh, in this smart control, we use the vintage B3 organ preset. And now you see the draw, draw bars appearing. Now I have to tell every single draw bar uh, which thing it, it's changing. Yeah. So uh, first draw bar. I click the first one, I go to Instrument, Vintage Organ, and now you find the Draw Bars Upper Menu. That's what I play most of the times, the upper one. So the first Draw Bar, this is the set. Now I have to tell this Draw Bar that the first fader of my MIDI controller controls it. So I, I right click and I do edit assignment. And now I say it's the slider knobs control 2. And it's not a knob. I go into that menu and say it's fader number 1. So right now, if I move this fader, the draw bar moves as well. Let's hear it in the sound. And you see the bass is going away. All right, so we have to do the same thing for all the, all the other seven draw bars. That's what I do right now. Draw bar number two, instrument, vintage organ, draw bars, upper menu, second. Then I right click, edit assignment. Sliders and knobs. I say it's not the knob, it's the second fader. And MIDI through should be shut it off because we don't want to pass this information about this fader to any other instrument or any other thing. So, let's see if this works. Okay, the draw bar moves a little strange and even the modulation wheel is still moving with us. So, looks like both of them got the same MIDI control number. So, let's go back to the layout. and click the modulation wheel we got there. And you see MIDI through is automatic. We gonna do not pass through. So there is no information from this going to any other controller. We go back to edit and see if it works right now. All right, so the drawbar is moving just for itself. Sound. Very nice. Okay, next draw bar. Okay, 
So there's one drawbar left. We got no fader for that. We may um, program a knob for that. And you may recognize that um, I had the last fader, fader number 8, for the volume as well. So right now the volume and drawbar number 8 is moving. So I need to change uh, the setting for, for the uh, volume. So I go back to layout, click that output, and now assi I assign not the fader, but the knob number 8. So it's not the fader, but the knob for the volume. So I can use the fader for my drawbar. Back to edit, and let's see and hear how the drawbars work. All right, so that's my kind of programming organs in main stage and I really like them very much. Thanks for watching this uh, video um, and if you got any questions about programming those organs, um, leave a comment and I will answer you soon. So stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thanks very much.